Good day YouTube and welcome into another Tits Beer Bong 420 beer review. The beer we have for review today is an extra strong brown ale from Belgium. It is Nos Thomas. It's a 9% alcoholic 11.2 ounce 330 milliliter bottle of brown ale. Nostradam is extra strong brown ale from Belgium. Should we try and view the bottle as best as I can share it? Not the label on it. Nostradam is. <coughs> um, it's an extra strong brown ale. Yep. Um, it's from Belgium. Apparently it's got imported by Bravo Beer Company in Squamish, BC, Canada. It's just a blue tab with nothing on it. <clears throat> oh, I smell some of it. The cap's not even completely off it. Awesome. Smells nice. Doesn't yeah yeah. It smells nice. It smells like maybe plum raisin and blueberry kind of a smell in there. Something smells good in that bottle. Cheers. Nostradamus, nine percent brown ale. Belgium. Thank you for tuning in. Much appreciated. Mm-hmm. Two finger head. That, yeah, it's like a purpley browny black. Pretty more reddy brown to white. Just a good visual of the head there. Ah, uh, come with me, we'll place the camera over here. I don't know how it's there in this area, but... Yeah, it's got some plum. Raisin. Grape. Stuff like that. It's like plum and grape mainly, though. And, um... A little, little hint of like some spice or something in there. Maybe some like orange citrusness. You can tell that, like it doesn't smell boozy, but you can tell it's one of those ones that would be fruit, fruity and boozy. And let's see how this brownie goes. Cheers. Yeah. Wow. Almost like you, yeah, plum. Some grape kind of on a slight little red wine side maybe, maybe. Really like smooth. Almost like, you know, something shiny and just niceness put on top of like the fruits that are there and heavy body oh yeah definitely heavy bodied um something in that sips not disgusting in a bad poorly beer way no but in my opinion I'm gonna say that sip had a little grossness to it as in, I didn't enjoy that, but it's still a great quality beer and everything, so it's heavier. It's like your plums and your grapes. Um, that head tastes a little odd when you can get some of it, like a yeasty, creamy weirdness or something. <coughs> Take your time with this one, it's 9%, and if you've already been drinking, <coughs> it'll be more fucked. Mm. Alright, cool. Alright, label for Nostradamus. 
Um, what shall I rate Nostradamus? I'm gonna rate Nostradamus, um... I'm gonna rate Nostradamus, folks, um... I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10, because it's like, it's 9%, it's good quality Belgian beer, not some cheap, skunky, bullshit thing or something. And it's not completely my thing. I wouldn't completely prefer this one. And I've had better beers that were 9% from Belgium and a different kind of like darker style beer. But but I can't knock this beer because it's not bad quality beer. Just it's really heavy. It's going to fuck me up at 9%. And just not 100% my thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'll give it like a 6 out of 6.5 out of 10. One, some people are going to find awful, and one, some people are going to find them really good. And all of a sudden, it just reminded me, I had a flying dog beer once years ago. I had to do it like Hunter S. Thompson if you're in Loading Las Vegas, all over the fucking bottle. It was really strong. Um, me and like a family member split the six pack, price, and shared it. They found it disgusting. It was kind of okay, and this is just kind of reminding me a little bit of it, maybe. I don't know. Probably not, though. <laughs> but yeah. I'll give Belgium's Nostradamus 6.5 out of 10. Plum grape. Heavy bodied. Smooth, easy drinking. And I'll answer that call, peace.